thank you, Smita. Uh, hi, this is Devanshi. I will now request Dr. Pradeep Sen to uh, take over from here. Dr. Pradeep Sen is the senior principal scientist uh, at the monoclonal antibody based therapeutic group at uh, IMTEC, which is Institute of Microbial Technology of CSIR, based in Chandigarh. Uh, Dr. Sen. Okay. Am I uh, audible? Yes, sir, you're audible. Yes. Can you see the slide? Yes. Yeah. Great. Please go. Ahead. Thank you. Thanks, uh, uh, Devanshi. And also, I really thank the X.in for providing the opportunity uh, for showcasing my technology. I'm production from CSR Intech. And today, I'm going to present the uh, our technology based on the bar similar of Adalimina. My presentation is outlined as initially I'll be talking about my institute, CSR Institute of Microbial Technology, and about my group uh, for the bar therapeutics. And then I will present the data related to our Adalimina bar similar, other capabilities and offering, and next step. So, uh, <coughs> Regarding my institute, CSR Intake is one of the 37 sister laboratories of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. And Intake is having a long standing track record for technology transfer and working with the industry. It has already commercialized a couple of the uh, molecules like streptokinase and more specific streptokinase to US companies as well as in India, and it is a publicly funded non-profit uh, research and, uh, uh, or, uh, and development laboratory. As I already mentioned that there are a couple of the technologies have been already been commercialized, like streptokinase, recombinant streptokinase, or specific streptokinase has been commercialized to Cadilla, Shashon, Epigen, Nostrum, and also a couple of the uh, technologies are in the pipeline, including monoclonal antibody against TNF alpha. Basically, I am immunologist and cell biologist, and also my working experience is in the biochemistry, molecular biology, and I have some expertise expertise in the area of the antibody development in the chosen line. I am a principal scientist uh, in CSR intake, and my ongoing collaboration is with Durham University. Uh, UK and uh, other team members of the biotherapy groups include Dr. Rajkumar, who is a cell biologist and molecular biologist. Dr. Bina Krishnan is protein biochemist, and Dr. Girish Kartney, an immunologist. And our group is having the capability to do end-to-end -end research for any protein-based biotherapy. Our institute is having a state-of-art uh, mammalian cell culture and uh, downstream and also uh, the downstream processing units. And for example, we have the mammalian cell fermenter up to five liters batch fermentation, and also we have the you can see for the microbial culture we have uh, uh, five to five hundred lit liter uh, fermenter and also downstream processing unit available. Now I'm going to focus on the technology that is the adalimumab biosimilar that we have developed at Intel. Adalimumab is a monoclonal human monoclonal antibody that is widely used for the treatment of autoimmune disorders by neutralizing the tumor necrosis factor also, which is the key mediator of uh, rheumatoid arthritis and uh, psoriasis and other Crohn's diseases. And this molecule, uh, it was uh, the patent, uh, parent patent has been expired in 2016 in US, and uh, entire patent will be expired in US in by 2023. And in Europe, it has been expired in 2017. As I mentioned, that it is not only used for rheumatoid arthritis, but other diseases, from disease, psoriasis, ulcerative colitis, and ankylosing spondylitis, etc. The market size for adalimumab is quite good because uh, it is expected to reach around uh, $4.3 billion by 2025, and it is expected to have a CHR of 4.98 uh, 
uh, during 2020 to 2025, and most of the revenue has been achieved uh, in the in North America. Globally, a couple of the companies like Abibi, uh, Boringer, Cadilla, they are a uh, good producer of uh, this Adelie Blue Map. And also, due to the dispute is over between the uh, ABB and uh, Boringer by 2019, it has opened up the market for all the biosimilars to enter into the US market. And already, a couple of the biosimilars have been launched or approved. Uh, for the U.S. market from Amgen, Novartis, Samsung, Pfizer, and Mylan. In India, Zydas, that is that, Torrent Pharma, and Reliance, Hetero Pharma, Landmark have already uh, developed the biosimilars for adalimumab. As I already mentioned, that uh, adalimumab patent has been expired, and in U.S., the patent is set to expire in 2013. So the next uh, next uh, treatment for adalimumab based therapy is the biosimilar. And the global prevalence of the rheumatoid arthritis is almost 2.24 to 1%. And in India, about 0.34% uh, is uh, the, the rheumatoid arthritis is prevalent. And if you are considering 1.2 billion people, in India, almost 5 billion million patients are having this rheumatoid arthritis. So that is a huge burden for the rheumatoid arthritis in India. Now, the global cost for the adalimumab is almost, uh, for the adalimumab based treatment is almost $2,000 to $3,000 per month. In India, it is, uh, if you consider the originator molecule, it is almost $2,124 per month. And if you use the biosimilar for the treatment, then the cost will come to around 164 to $328. But even if you see that the amount of the patients getting, the number of the patients getting affected by the rheumatoid arthritis, still there is a very much unmet, unmet medical need for the particular uh, treatment. And the opportunity lies that we, uh, we need to come up with higher MAP producing clone and innovat innovation in the upstream and downstream processing units. Now, coming to our, what we are currently having. We have already developed in-house a stable chosen clone that is mycophon plasma free, and we are currently having the yield of adalimumab 170 to 200 mg per liter in 100 ml, plus, uh, 100 ml culture volume in 500 shake plus level. Now, please note that this is unfit culture yield. We have not done the fed batch culture, and so this amount of the productivity is quite well within the industry acceptable range. And we have tested the stability of this map productivity uh, over 40 generations, and this map production is quite stable. We have performed the preliminary experiments for de determining the biosimilarity of this uh, intake map. And with reference to Essentia, that is procured from Zytus Cadella, uh, which is the biosimilar version of the adalimumab, we found that the intact mass of the entire molecule is exactly the same compared to the, as compared to the Essentia. And the heavy chain and light chain uh, peak are coming exactly at the same position uh, compared to at the, as the exemption. And we have done the preliminary glycosidation profile of the heavy chain of intake map. And it is showing the that predominantly it is having the G0F, the glycosidation pattern, and few, uh, few glycosidation is G1F position. And the deglyco, after deglycosidation, the molecular um, weight of the heavy chain is getting reduced from 50 kilodalton to 49 kilodalton, which is consistent with the reported literature. We have done the prime, uh, secondary and tertiary structural analysis. The uh, secondary uh, structure of our molecule is exactly overlapping with the originator molecule and other uh, biosimilar molecules. And also, similarly, the tertiary structure is quite overlapping. And it is having the similar uh, thermal, uh, the, the thermal stability with respect to the originated and other biosimilar molecules. We have tested the biosimilar biofunctionality of our molecule with respect to the 
the originator molecule adalimumab, that is the TNA, human TNF alpha neutralizing capacity. And it shows that, uh, that our molecule is having the comparable human TNF alpha neutralizing capacity like the originator molecule, and it binds to the human, human TNF alpha uh, com as compared to the adalimumab in the same uh, efficiency on the dot blot. Now, Currently, we have the shape uh, the productivity data at the shape plus level. We have developed the clone and the construct in house. The vector and the line cell license, uh, cell line license have been achieved from the in vitro gen. Our clone is 100% pure because we have done the three rounds of the single cell cloning, and the productivity is almost 170 to 200 mg per liter. And uh, we have done the bio, uh, uh, physiochemical characterization, biosimilarity test, and also we have estimated the uh, uh, productivity in the unfed culture. Many things uh, are remaining, like scale up, the immunogenicity, the PKPT studies, and these are uh, and the regulatory, all the regulatory process are still pending. So, what we are seeking right now? Now we are ready. To that if any industrial partner is interested to get the tech transfer for the clone, we can we are ready to license out our, our clone uh, along with the SOPs and the protocols as per CSR tech transfer guidelines. We can go for the core development partner with the core development partners for validation and the development of for the functional characterization of the biosimilarity and possibly on mutually agreeable terms. Or we can, uh, we, we are ready for any kind of sponsored research and follow R and and research collaboration with the, uh, with the other companies. Our capabilities and offerings uh, include uh, certain uh, molecules are in the pipeline, means it is just initiated, uh, that is the part of ZooMap. And uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Dr. Shunal Dasto, she is working with the GCSF and PIM GCSF. If you want to uh, contact her, you can come with the to our BDG group. As I already mentioned, that our institute is having a state of art cell culture and fermentation facility, high end protein analytical and downstream processing unit, and we and that is enabling us to develop the molecular biology and map clone gen generation process development and analytical characterization. We have the CGMP facility which is DCGI approved for the microbial culture based biopharmaceutical uh, bio development. And currently some industry is using that. And we have a completely one, uh, one building dedicated for the protein science and engineering uh, research. And we have very uh, good analytical, uh, bi biochemical and analytical instrument facility at Intel. 